Ponce de Leon says he knows Wama still has that right hook. He wants to keep himself, his punches, he said, tighter this time around. Ponce de Leon in the navy blue trunks. Wama in the pink and black. And he pops de Leon with a right hook. And as was the case six years and eight pounds ago, Ponce de Leon, the aggressor, walking to Lopez. In his day, Wanda had a very good jab. Ponce de Leon never really depended much on his jab. That's his punch. That straight left, he lands a looping left, a straight left. There's a right hook by Ponce de Leon to Wanda. Halfway through the first round. Ponce de Leon a little bit more cautious in the second half of this round than you might have expected. In the fighter meeting, he said he would take a more cautious approach early on to fill Juan Ma out. Here's a right hand by Ponce de Leon. Follows it up with a left hook to the body of Juan Ma. Juan Ma tells him to get the punches up as he throws a right hook. This round being fought at the exact distance Ponce de Leon likes. Where he can land that left hand just like that. He is not an infighter. He likes to be on the outside. So far, so good for him in terms of the ring generalship. Thirty seconds here in the first round. One thing to look for. Juan Ma talked about he knows how Ponce de Leon loves to throw that left hand and he reaches and he wants to catch him, no, no, we said, no, with the right hook. Okay, no, la lleva a tirar, estoy aquí. No, no hagas así, ¿ok? No es necesario, vamos. Luis Carbon, a veteran referee. Diez segundos. Final seconds of the first round. Ponce de Leon with that left hand. That one wasn't straight, it was roundhouse, and Lopez countered and got hit as he countered. So both fighters landing there, but Lopez, that right hand. And then later in the round, Ponce de Leon kind of hesitated to throw a punch there, got countered again. You know what? Both fighters can kind of claim victory that they got out of the first round for different reasons. By de Leon. Brian, these two have so much in common, besides the fact that they shared a ring six years ago. Both Olympians for their respective countries, both champs at 122 and 126, both South Balls. Mm -hmm. And now they both find themselves over the age of 30, which for this division is advanced. Here's a left hook by Juan Ma. Ooh, both guys land. Lopez with the right hook there, the best punch in that trade. Generally, when you have two southpaws, they don't like fighting each other, but from a fighting angle, you should be able to find the target early and often when you get two lefties in there. Oh, good left hook that dropped Juan Ma. around longer than maybe we thought. There's another left hand by Ponce de Leon. Oh, then he drops it! A right hook by Lama. Watch the legs of Ponce de Leon. Here comes Lama.
What a turn of events here in the second round. Both guys going down. Juan Ma on the attack again. Ponce been down twice, and that's it. Different from round one when both fighters were fairly cautious. Overhand right by Ponce de Leon. He follows it with a hook. And then the big left hand, which Wanma did not see coming at all. And right here, it's deja vu. He's down, as he's been down in three of his last six fights, twice against Orlando Salido. And you say, okay, this is the beginning of the end. Later in the same round, early candidate for round of the year. Here's the right hook. Oh, does he get leverage on that right hook? Same punch he used again six years ago to knock Ponce de Leon out. And then you say to yourself as a fan here, well, who's going down next? Because it could happen to either guy. But Ponce de Leon's against the ropes. And this is sort of, he's hanging on to the leg there. And referee Luis Pabon rules a knockdown there. Protested by Ponce de Leon. And now here's the end of the fight. Ponce de Leon against the ropes. Watch his gloves. He's protecting himself. That shot, that left hand rolled off the shoulder. Big right hand there and a left. Two punches landed flush. Quick stoppage, a 